and maintain the constitution and laws of Zambia. An unflinching affirmation to uphold the constitution, the supreme law of the land. Fourth President Rupia Banda was among Zambia's presidents that presided over five constitutional review processes that Zambia has had since independence from Britain in 1964. The five constitutional review processes were under the ambit of the 1972 Mainza Chona, 1990 Patrick Mvunga, 1995 Jen Mwanakatwe, 203 Willa Mungomba Constitutional Review Commissions, and the 2011 Anos Lungwe Constitution Technical Committee. Following the death of his predecessor, Levi Mwanawasa, in August 2008, Mr. Banda was in charge of national affairs when Zambians were debating the contents of the Willa Mungomba Constitution Review Commission draft constitution through the National Constitution Conference. NCC. However, the National Constitutional Conference Bill of 2010 flopped in Parliament. This was on the pretext that uh, 99 members of Parliament uh, voted in favour of a bill, falling short of uh, seven votes to garner two-third majority. Constitutional lawyer Mwangala Zlomis now recounts President Banda's commitment to constitutional reforms in Zambia. I remember we're still sitting in Mulungushi and um, now and then you'd come and sit and listen to the deliberations as president. By then he had been sworn in as president. So he did a good job. And I think that constitution, you know, the draft was, um, was a very good draft. Another constitutional lawyer, Sakuba Skota, has fond memories of President Banda's constitutional reform legacy. Um, they were very, very good uh, proposals. And uh, it's just that uh, politics got in the way of people looking at it not through political lenses but through whether or not it is good for the Zambians. Not only did Mr. Banda stamp authority on the constitutional matters but also subsidiary local and international law, as evidenced by Zambia's ratification of the United Nations UN Convention on the Rights of People with Disabilities in February 2010 in his reign. The time this man was campaigning in 2011, he was talking highly on how he's going to help persons with disability and how much he's going to help these people in terms of positions. So we are very touched with what he did. Mr. Banda also prioritized the protection of Zambians against gender-based violence. As the Ungender-Based Violence Act was enacted in April 2011, shortly before he relinquished power to his successor, Michael Sata in September 2011 after the general election. Thus, it is undeniable that our fourth president, Rupia Banda, goes in the annals of history as being among Zambia's presidents that upheld constitutional and legal reforms. Hanok Kasama, ZNBC News in Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. <laughs>